What's going on guys, it's your boy Trolltech here for another video. So today we're getting into some more BTS content. Um, so as you know, we're going for each member individually before we get into the group stuff. And today we are getting into the next member of BTS. We're doing in the order of the, the, of the order that they joined BTS. So that's the way I'm doing him. So today we're doing Jin, um, which is the first member outside of the like rap line, right? Of BTS that I'm doing. Because so far I've done RM, uh, Yungi, and um, J-Hope, right? Those are the guys I've done so far. Um, obviously, if you've watched my stuff, you know, currently, Yungi is my boy. Um, but I'm excited to get into this. Number, There's a couple of reasons I'm excited to get into. Because generally, I've found when I get into groups... I usually gravitate towards the oldest member. Um, so, and I know Jin, I, I believe Jin is the oldest member, right, of BTS. So I'm interested in that. And then also Jin is probably one of my favorite names. I think it's such a cool name because like I grew up playing Tekken and Jin was like my favorite character. So anytime I meet, like I see like a real life Jin, I'm just like, that's so cool. That's such a cool name. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get into this. So today we're watching, well, we're listening to, sorry, Astronaut music video, Abyss and um, Epiphany. So I couldn't find more. I couldn't find mu enough. The only music video I could find was the Astronaut. So the other two are lyric videos. But I guess in on my Discord or even in the comments, you can just recommend other music videos. Maybe I'll do them later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get into this. It's, I think it's it's been a hot minute since we've done any BTS. This is a long song. This is five minutes long, by the way. Okay, let's get into it. Big hit music. Yeah. Uh, no, I remember this guy. I've seen a couple of clips of him on, like, TikTok as well. He's the guy where I think they were on the Graham Norton show. And... He's, I remember the clip. He's like, I'm worldwide handsome. That's this guy, right? Is that, what is that fucking, the, the Millennium Falcon? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Subtitles, subtitles. Turn that shit on immediately. The way he comes in, sorry, I'm I'm reversing, but like, let's go back to the like the way he jumps into the song. Like, please, so beautiful. This is his. The way he's like you, like that's oh my god, that's so good. Okay, um, let's go. Oh, I love his voice. He's got like that richness, you know. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that thing from Coldplay? That's the guy from Coldplay, right? That in the TV, isn't that the guy, what the, what's his name? Um, Chris something. I think his name's Chris something. But that guy, that's a Coldplay dude. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's so pretty. He is so pretty. Wow. Okay. I think this is the first love song we've listened to from BT like BTS content. I love his voice. Absolutely in love with it. This man is angelic. Also love the music video, like the cinematography, I think, I think is really well done. Like it's not too like crazy, like a simplistic 
cinematography, but it's very like pleasant to watch. I guess it's it's not really a love song. You could also read this as like a friendship thing as well. What's with the what's with the astronaut? Oh, cause the jet. Right, so he's talking about the universe and the Milky Way. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. No, this guy. This man is unfairly attractive. He is very much worldwide answered. This is such an interesting music video as well. That was so, that was so cute. That was adorable. The way he went. No, that that was adorable. Please. Man, I love his voice. I think he's very quickly jumped up as one of my favorite voices in K-pop right now. Like, it's got such a special quality, like his voice, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like, it hits a place in your brain and your, like, your ears that just... It's hard to even explain. I don't know what it is. It just does something to your brain chemistry, his voice, that I just haven't experienced. It's I can't even I can't even actively say, oh, this is why it's doing that. I just I can't even explain it. You know what I mean? It just hits a perfect spot in my brain, his voice. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out the logistics of what this song's talking about. Because obviously, it's talking about this relationship between these two. You know what I'm getting though? I don't know if I'm reading this right. The reason I say this, I'm reading it as if, like, he's talking about someone that's passed away. The reason I say that, because he has, he has mentions of heaven and, like the universe and then it shows like flashbacks almost of him when he was like smiling and a bit happier and then when it goes back to him in the suit it looks like a suit you'd wear to like a funeral or something so maybe that's what i'm thinking um i might be fully wrong but that's the kind of the vibe i'm getting from this it seems to be almost like a yeah like a tribute kind of song or something That's my read on it, though. I'm sure you tell me in the comment section below if I was wrong or right. I really liked it though, like, just like obviously cinematography wise and, and stuff was really cool, but his voice, oh my god, blown away. And he's, he's, <laughs> he's also very pretty to look at, so there's that. Okay, so, wait, let's look at the crossword. So, astronaut, star, army, okay, interesting, army is the fan base, moon, cozy, 
family, right? So that's what I'm thinking. Um, that's what I'm thinking the song's about. Like maybe he's talking about a family member that like passed away or something. Like that's the vibe I'm getting, honestly. Um, I might be wrong, but that's just the vibe I'm getting from this song. He's so cute. You know? Like, he's adorable, this man. Like, <laughs> he's unfair because he's exactly my type as well. Like, so <laughs> fucking, I feel like Jin's going to kill me. Um, okay, let's go to the next song. Uh, Abyss. Okay, this is a shorter song, but this is just lyrics. So we can kind of delve more into the lyrics of it. Okay, I'm liking this kind of beats, instrumental. His voice is so good. All of his songs though so far have been quite like melancholy. So his voice, Jin has one of those voices where it's it's perfectly suited to, you know when you go to a concert and like people have like glow sticks and they're going like this and stuff like he's got that, he's got a perfect voice for that vibe. You know what I mean? Like he's, it's just so beautiful. It's like he's so a lot of these songs seem to be about like separation from someone from a relationship or something Oh Oh my lord those high notes bro what the fuck I think he's low key like talking about oh shit shit <laughs> sorry He's also low-key talking about going through depression as well. And a relationship that's kind of becoming distant. I just love... Sorry, I'm pausing it a, a bunch. I love the way these guys talk about relationships and like mental health and the way kind of those two things intertwine because you know you have this relationships that's becoming distant as a result there's like you know elements of depression happening you know the kind of imagery of that is you know walking into the ocean the dark place like those things so like i really love how they tackle these issues it's not just one member either it's all of them have done that like j-hope's done that uh jungi's done jungi has done that shit too to a fucking point you know like all of the songs i listened to from yugi was just pure him dealing with his issue previous mental health issues and like uh struggles he went through in life right um jin's doing it now like all of them do that which i really love and obviously i don't even need to mention how beautiful this man's fucking voice is this man actually has the voice of an angel actually i'm gonna say it he's got my favorite voice in k-pop right now um I'm sorry to any other very... I'm sorry to my boy, like, Sungmin and stuff. Um, but he's just got something so special. Not to compare them, obviously. They all, they both have their, you know, good parts. But I'm just saying. For me personally, I just... His voice hits a spot in my heart and in my brain that just no one has managed to hit. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's hard to explain, but... <laughs> Oh, oh, so good, so good. The way he goes high and then low. Oh, that high note is crazy, bro. I'm in disbelief.
See, I was... I think this song's done. I was 100% sure. I was pretty sure. I was like, okay, even though I'm listening to all these guys, I'm pretty sure Yungi is going to be my BTS bias, right? I was pretty sure about that. I had to make... I, I'm not going to make that statement yet. Who's my bias or not? Because I haven't gone through each of them. And I and I feel like I, I want to listen to them all together as a group before I make that decision. It's not... I don't need to make that decision, but it's just like, I feel like it's fun to have a bias. You know what I mean? Um, But... Jin has shooken me, right? Because I was sure, even with RM and J-Hope being crazy talented, and I'm really liking this stuff, Yungi had just, he was so high above, like, in my brain, like, how much I enjoyed his stuff, that I was, like, pretty sure. I was like, okay, we're going to get other stuff, but Yungi's going to be my bias. Let's be honest. Like, that's it. that was my headspace. But now Jin came in. Jin came in, and I'm just like, I'm not sure about this anymore. I'm like, it could... I don't know. I'm not sure who's going to end up being my bias by the end of this. Like, it's a whole... It's He's shooken me to my core, is all I'm saying. That's how much I'm liking his stuff. Okay, Epiphany. Epiphany. Okay, interesting beat. It's got, like, that motivational aspect to it. Okay, interesting. Got, like, a little piano coming in. Oh, fuck, his voice. Every song has been like a love song, quote-unquote. Interesting. Okay, I'm kind of liking the vibe of this. Because I think that's an important issue to talk about when it comes to relationships. You know, changing yourself so much to meet the other person where that person doesn't meet you in the middle, right? Um... And I like how, even though he's doing like love songs, I say love songs, but it, you could also read it as like a friendship or something or, or another relationship. Um, even though he's doing that, he's kind of dissecting what makes a healthy relationship as well, which is really interesting. Um, because I feel like a lot of love songs, sometimes they promote unhealthy behaviors in relationships. So I appreciate Jin dissecting a, this, like what a relationship is and what makes a relationship healthy and like we need to meet in the middle ground and that type of vibe, right? So I appreciate that. Yeah, see, like hiding yourself away because you're trying to always adapt and change for that person. It's not good. There we go. Oh, yes. I've also realized um, a lot of the BTS content is like centered around loving who you are as a person. His voice is, his voice is wild. Maybe that's why people connect with BTS so much because I feel like generally a lot of these fan bases in K-pop, um, I found generally because um, K-pop has a large like LGBT um, audience, right? So a lot of these messages of loving yourself and not hiding yourself away and being who you are truly, I think connects with a lot of LGBT people um, because, you know, we live in a world where, okay, we have some level of acceptance, but it's very much not like, it's not a universal thing. Like, you, if someone's actually a proper ally and they understand that it's a very normal way to live and it's just it's a, just a different way that people are, then that's very rare. Because even people that are allies, quote-unquote, have these preconceived um, kind of criticisms and just, like, biases against, uh, you know, all... All members of LGBT, whether you're trans or, or, or gay or bisexual or whatever, right? Because, like, um, even within, like, the LGBT community, there's biases against other, other LGBT members. Like, for example, I've experienced this personally. Like, um, gay people, some, not all of them, but some gay people having, like, negative biases 
towards like bisexual people like oh bisexual people cheat because they have more options or you know bisexual people um are, are actually gay but they're just hiding hiding it because they don't want to get you know they don't want to be labeled as gay like just bullshit like that right so i think that's why we have a lot of that in the lgbt community i mean we have a lot of fans k-pop fans in the lgbt community that's why BTS is like, love yourself and be who you are and stuff is connects a lot. And I think just generally a lot of the K-pop groups that I've listened to so far have that same message of like, be who you are type vibe. Like Stray Kids was like, Stray Kids is like that. Uh, the stuff I've listened to from BTS, that's like their main thing, right? Um, so I forgot what I was saying. I appreciate it. I really like it is all I'm saying, you know? I went on a bit of a, like, a tangent, but... Especially this song, it seems very much like... Talking about that idea. Of being who you are. Yeah, now this is hitting. This is hitting so hard, actually, this song. This song is very, like, this song, any person that is LGBT is, this song hits. I'm sorry. Like, it, it just is. Like, is as a bisexual, this song, boom, hits. 100%. Because it took me, it took me a long time to even accept, you know, that side of me. Like, I was, I'm 27 now. I accepted that I was bisexual when I was 18, 19, was I 19? 18. Like I knew, like you, I had those feelings since I was a child, but like, you don't, ex you don't accept that shit. You just refuse to accept it. Um, until you've got no other choice. Right. Um, so this is hitting hundred percent. I love this song. And what I love about this song, it's not only talking about the people I was talking about, it's just talking about anyone hiding themselves away from, or their true self away from the rest of society. And his voice, obviously, absolutely angelic as always. Those high notes, please, Jin, you absolutely murder me. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good, bro. Absolutely amazing. It's so crazy how fast I've just fell in love with this guy as a performer. Or as a, you know, artist, sorry. Like, the only person that's made me fall in love so far fast with him, like, in his work, is probably been Jungi and Chen. Those are the two guys that I'm... Just as fast as I've fallen in love with this guy's work. Those only two guys. Like, it's crazy. And honestly, even even Chan and stuff, who's, you know, you know, is my one of my favorite guys. I didn't become as obsessed with him as fast as I did with Jin. Like Jin just, I don't know, he just took my fuck this man just stole my heart. Like just just took my breath away. Like absolutely just murdered me. You know? Absolutely murdered me. This was so beautiful. This music, everything about this was so fucking good i love jin is all i'm saying and see i don't know what it is it's always the oldest member that i just become obsessed with you know chan jin um songwa 
You know, like, if, it's always the oldest member, which I guess, I don't know what it is. It's something about them. Um, maybe that's tell something about me, but it's always the oldest member that I become obsessed with. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, did, we did delve into a bit more serious topics this time, which was re I really like. That's why I like BTS videos, because it allows me to kind of talk about actual issues. Like, it's like social issues that I am actually passionate about talking about, because it's in line with the content that they're releasing. Because their songs are so deep and so impactful, it allows you to talk about these more serious topics, which is really why I'm loving BTS. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.